All right, today we're gonna to make some French toast. I'm gonna to start off with some eggs, and then we're gonna add some milk. Of course, we'll put in the cinnamon, and then the vanilla, and then we'll pour it in the plate. After we mix it together, of course, we'll dip the bread in the mixture, throw it in a buttered pan, Fry it up, and then eat some French toast. So, wash up. Getting back to this, I'll just add, like to add a splash of milk here. Yeah, that's enough. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's enough. Then we're gonna add some cinnamon. Yeah, let's go about like that. Flash of some vanilla, <clears throat> vanilla extract. Should be good. And then let's mix this up. Mix, 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 mix. Hopefully no more cinnamon jumps out. Okay. Scrape some of the cinnamon that didn't get mixed back in and then give it another shot. Okay, when that's done, I like to put it in another bowl with a little bit wider so that when I dip my bread in, I got some room so I can get some coverage on the bread. Hey, preheat the ovens. Let's go ahead and get this warmed up. Got medium heat. Add some butter in the pan. Yeah, about that much. Spread it over it evenly. All right. Just let that melt up a little bit, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start dipping our bread. I'm just gonna use my hand. Put it down in this mixture, one side, flip it over, get the other side, and then throw it in the pan. Now I got about three eggs in here, a little bit of milk, some cinnamon, and some vanilla extract. This may make around six slices of French toast, depending on you know how much you soak up and the size of your bread. All right, 
So I got that going. That's about ready. Let's go ahead and dip this toast in here. The bread in here. All right. And throw it in the pan. Just like that. Let's do another piece. Fit about two in. Just like that. And throw it in. Let that fry on one side. I'm going to go wash up again. Time will vary depending on how hot you have your pan, the size of your bread, and also, as you'll see here in a minute, when you flip it, how you want it to actually look. Me, I like about a medium amount of batter on there. So, there's no right or wrong way to really do this, just however you want it to look. So you can do trial and error. So if you can see that, I like it like this. Letting it fry on the other side a little bit. What I like to do is kind of just rotate this around, get some of that butter. There we go. I'm just gonna let it go, keep on going. As you can see, it's a really simple process. It doesn't take too much time at all. For me, it is definitely a go-to breakfast. Very simple. I love the taste. I love to put some syrup on there. For me, that's pretty much it. That's how I like it. So I'm just gonna rinse and repeat. Basically, dip a couple more pieces in some batter, fry them up, and then I'm going to go to town on this. That's it. Talk to you next time.